Hello everyone, welcome to Business School 101. As consumers, we tend to pay more attention to the information that supports our opinions and unintentionally ignore the negative information against our established attitudes. For example, we may focus on reading the positive news about specific politicians we support or brands we love and not be aware of ignoring the negative information against them. This behavior can be explained by confirmation bias. Confirmation bias often occurs and could affect our purchase decisions. So, what is confirmation bias? How does it happen and what are its marketing implications? In this video, I will discuss these questions with you. Section 1. Definition. Confirmation bias is a cognitive bias that favors information that confirms an individual's pre-existing beliefs. This means that people tend to search out, interpret, or even recall information in a way that reinforces previously existing beliefs. For example, consumers who like or dislike a particular brand will not only seek information to support it, but will also interpret the brand's stories and product messages in a way that maintains their existing beliefs. Consumers will also remember details that reinforce these attitudes. Once an attitude is formed strongly, consumers tend to embrace information confirming that attitude while ignoring or rejecting that information without further critical thoughts. Section 2. Types of Confirmation Bias Generally, there are three major types of confirmation bias. First, biased attention. This confirmation bias occurs when consumers selectively focus and search for information that only confirms their attitudes, while ignoring data that doesn't. For example, if a consumer is a huge fan of Amazon, they might ignore negative news about it, such as labor abuse. If consumers are loyal consumers of Starbucks, they will focus on positive information, such as Starbucks' corporate social responsibility effort, and how they impact society by supporting local communities, educating workers, reducing waste, etc. Second, biased interpretation. Confirmation bias can be observed when consumers consciously interpret information in a way that confirms their beliefs. For example, consumers tend to interpret inconclusive evidence or messages that support their current points of view accordingly. Third, biased memory. This bias occurs when consumers selectively remember information that supports their attitudes while forgetting information that doesn't. This bias also can be observed when consumers retrieve information from their memory. For example, if consumers like shopping at Target, they will remember positive experiences, such as having a significant discount or enjoying Target's bright and colorful store atmosphere. Section 3. Marketing Implication Confirmation bias could influence marketing as well. Let's imagine that you are thinking of buying a tablet PC and want to buy an iPad more than Samsung Galaxy Tab. You will likely search for an iPad instead of Galaxy Tab on a search engine such as Google. The results based on your search data will show information confirming your attitudes by showing you positive articles, consumer reviews, and product websites that favor the iPad over Samsung Galaxy Tab. Therefore, it is crucial for marketers to know their consumers' attitudes toward their brand. Marketers can use social media to understand consumers' interests and perceptions of their products. Based on the information, they can emphasize consumers' positive reviews of their products and reinforce their positive attitudes to obtain a competitive advantage. In doing so, marketers can build long-term relationships with their loyal consumers and attract potential consumers. Section 4. Conclusion Please keep in mind that even though you believe that you are very open-minded and have no bias in your judgments, some confirmation biases are likely to remain and reflect your attitudes. You may unconsciously search and pay more attention to the information that confirms your beliefs, so it is almost impossible to completely get rid of it. However, if you know confirmation bias exists and understand this could influence your judgment and decision-making, you can make an effort to reduce this bias. You may think deeply about opposing views and try to listen to what others say and why. In that way, you may make a better decision as a consumer. Alright, that's all for today's topic. If you have any questions regarding this video, please leave your thoughts in a comment below. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.